Okay, so I'm off work and I am actually going to go through the haunt shed and uh, start putting out some uh, some skeletons and stuff. Um, some of the monsters. I got like Wolfman right here and it's kind of got to start uh, digging through everything and see what I want to put out, guys. So uh, let's go hunting. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to show you this last night. Um, I have the speakers up too. So the speakers are there, and there's the other one back there on that pillar. And the CD player is here as well, um, right under that garbage bag. So, um, pretty funny story, actually. Uh, California's been in a huge drought, like forever. Like, I can't even remember the last time we had rain. We had like maybe a day, of, like, not even a day of rain, maybe like a, like a half day of rain, like maybe a month ago. And then before that, I think it was before Halloween last year. It's just been really bad. I started putting out all this stuff last night, and what happens? I wake up, and we have a shit ton of rain just coming down on us all morning long. It's been it's, it's crazy. And then right now, it's 80 degrees, so it's hot. You know, got my sleeveless shirt on. And look at the weather coming in. So we have, like, I don't know, I think we have some more rain coming. But it's just confused because it's 80 degrees outside, and it looks like it wants to rain. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to put all this stuff out anyways, and, uh, oh well. So I did a whole lighting tutorial last year, so I won't do it again this year. Um, but this is a uh, LED spike light that I bought last year. Um, pretty sure it's from Home Depot, and um, you see it's got a lot of LEDs in there. Well, I just posted one on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, that one has three LEDs, but I guess they're pretty strong. So they're also $15. These were $9. So. Obviously, I'm going to go with these and not buy those other ones that are out at Walmart, so be cautious before you buy those. They do look pretty good at Walmart, but be cautious because you could probably save $5 each and get, you know, an extra one for the amount of two that you pay. So, um, And then, yeah, I'm, I'm just going through lighting. I'm hanging up extra lighting right now, so I use a lot of these. Um, I take out the spike and I screw these in to different areas of the house, and I use my blue party bulbs to get my blacklight effect. Um, also, looks great on camera, so blue party bulbs, guys. Look what I found. So this gnome went missing um, a while back, and you know what happened? Brooklyn broke it and then threw it in the bushes uh, behind the bushes. Actually, you can see, you can see my yard. She threw it behind the bushes where nobody would find it. So, good job, Brooklyn. But guess what? I'm gonna use it in the haunt because it's a broken gnome. It'll work perfect. Look at the headless gnome guy. There we go. It looks like uh, the other gnome killed him and cut off his head. So that'll work good. Let's go ahead and leave it like that. So someone recently on Haunter's Hangout was showing their uh, plastic masks, the you know, little cheap one dollar ones, and asking like what they could do with it or how whatever they could light it. Well, um, I don't use black lights. I have black lights. I don't use them simply because I use, like I said, the blue party bulb. Um, and you can see the color it gives, right? And you could already see the neon, the the black light effect. There's Brooklyn. You can see the black light effect that is that the uh, masks are getting once they are spray painted with just fluorescent spray paint. So Home Depot, any, anywhere, fluorescent spray paint, and then check out the effect you get with the blue party bulb. So you get a true, sorry, you get a true black light effect on these, and the glowing is pretty awesome, especially in the blue. So you got, you got, a, you got nice color depth with the uh, different colors of the blue, for the camera image and then also the uh, color of the fluorescent paint so there is orange there's a yellow one over there there is a green um, it's just so close to it that it's not looking green but it's very green in my um, view actually you can kind of tell there there's yellow left green on the right and then of course I love the orange it looks very good um, so yeah so same thing clown there's like a weird clown right here and you can see how he glows. I just brushed that on his face with a paintbrush and um, giving him the uh, nice, cool black light effect on his face, on his eyes. And that's all coming from a blue party bulb. So I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't use, I don't use, let me get in the light too. I don't use the black lights. I have plenty of black lights. I mean, there's a 48 inch right there and a couple other ones you can see kind of back in the back there. Um, but I use blue party bulbs everywhere just because I love the color that it gives on the camera like right now um, for the videos and also as well as pictures and also the black light effect that it gives to all these masks so um, what else what else is in here 
Um, yeah, there's a skeleton, so the skeleton stands out as well. Um, styrofoam head, a couple more skeletons, and yeah, the clown. So you can see how good everything looks under the blue uh, party bolt, guys. So um, I have these out because I'm thinking about going to put these in the yard and uh, just kind of put them on bushes or something. So there's just kind of random heads everywhere, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Brooklyn's showing me her shoes. See, she wants you to see her shoes. Hi, everybody. Look at Brooklyn's shoes. You silly girl. All right, so um, I might go play with these. Maybe not. Don't know. Just wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm using a different camera, and in my screen it looks blue, but it's definitely purple, the uh, house lights. So i um, not sure why that's doing that. Um, I left my regular camera at work today. So um, anyways, yeah, so here's a nighttime view of everything. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of how everything is looking. Um, I put out a couple things. Uh, got a little skeleton right here. And he is actually screwed into the tree. So that's how he's standing up and looking like he's, you know, walking with no head. So that's pretty cool. I got my blue light up here. Blue light up there. And that's going to give all my effects in my graveyard as well. Um, you can see over here the blue party bulb is giving this guy a nice little orange glow I just kind of stuck him on the tree just kind of see how it would look he's not gonna stay there but I just wanted to stick him somewhere I got a dude here as well there's Uncle Carl um, I put up werewolf man as well so he is looking pretty good standing right there with his little head in his hand so yeah um, and then also this dude here kind of crawling out of the grave I gotta put some dirt underneath him but um, he looks pretty good, just kind of crawling out like there. I love the blue. The blue, see the blue light, it just gives great colors to some of these things. Um, it just looks really cool. I love it. I really do. Um, and you can see like the whole yard is going to be, you know, having that, that blue glow and all the tombstones will look good once they are out. Um, so yeah, uh, sign is good, up, ready to go. Um, I did go get those letters today, so we're good there. And I don't know why these are showing up blue on this camera. This is weird. This is not my normal vlog camera. I'm using my backup one. But, wow. Whatever. That's weird. It's so weird. So, yeah. Everything's looking good, guys. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so I think that's it. Um, I'm not putting up the uh, tombstones yet. Brooklyn wants to do that. She wants to do her special effects to them, which is painting them with the black light paint. Um, but I'm not putting them up because we had a windy night. And we're supposed to get rain the next two nights and then after that it's like there's no more rain so um screw it i'll just let my lawn get watered i guess and come back and do some uh tombstones maybe saturday before i go to fear overload maybe saturday night after fear overload sunday i don't know so anyways yeah so um yeah everything's looking good guys good shape and that's it for today so hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to get into fear overload couldn't get there today they got they got tied up in sacramento again so They'll be there tomorrow for sure, and we will go check out Fear Overload for the first time together. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Oh.